Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is a self-elected ape of the year once again, with another combat move tutorial, and I finally have enough time to do another one for you guys. So, this one is going to be about spotting contacts. Many of you requested me to do a tutorial about this topic, and this is no surprise for me, because it's a very uh, difficult aspect of the game, and um, I'm going to give you some information about this topic now. So, first of all, um, some general stuff. You want to make sure that your resolution setup is not set up too high. So I have a resolution of 1440 times 900 and um, it's very important to know that the higher you set up your resolution the smaller the dot that indicates the enemy is going to become at maximum distances. So don't go too high with the resolution. It's making it a little bit more easy for you to spot contacts. Another very important thing is to make sure that your monitor is perfectly clean. So go into something like Word or Paint, make it sure you have a white background and uh, clean your monitor from <coughs> every single tiny dirt spots or dust. <sighs> so now we're going to go into some more specific tips. Very many new pilots are having the most problems with spotting contacts and the reason for this is that uh, these new pilots are preoccupied with uh, other things, for example in engine management or general uh, flying maneuvers or even if they try to fly in formation with someone. Don't try to do too many things at once. <coughs> and if you are not relaxed and you are preoccupied <coughs> with other aspects of flying and you're not uh, quote-unquote on au autopilot, uh, you're going to have the most uh, difficulties in spotting contacts. So, um, if you are a newer pilot and you really want to fly in formation with someone, um, make sure that the one with the most difficulties in spotting contacts is the leader of the flight group. Because um, it's a little bit counterintuitively, but uh, the leader has uh, less uh, distraction because of staying in formation because uh, the wingman of course always has to watch the leader and try to stick to him and this is of course going to distract you so the more problems you have with spotting uh, the more useful it's going to be for you to uh, be the flight leader sometimes it's also uh, that the one who has the best eyesight is the leader um, because he's going to concentrate on searching for contacts and um, you have to filter it out and look a little bit and what is the best thing for you. Maybe as a beginner it's not the best idea to try to fly in formation at first because like I said it's going to become more difficult for you to spot contacts then. Now I'm going to give you some uh, basic uh, strategies that I am using when flying and um, the first important thing you want to know is that your eyes ability to filter out movement is a very very useful and helpful ability when spotting when trying to spot contacts so what I'm doing is I'm focusing on one area at a time there is a figure of speech of keeping your head on a swivel but if you're look ar looking around very fast and very uh, hectically this is not going to work very well try to keep your head calm and this is a key tip I'm going to give you the more calm you keep your head the higher the ability or the possibility to spot contacts because your eyes ability to filter out movement is not going to work if you're moving your head because everything is moving when I move my head of course so keep your head calm and focus on one area at a time what I'm doing is I use these windows as uh, my areas. So I'm looking out of this area at first, keeping my head calm, going to the next window, and like always, don't move your head when you are scanning one of those areas. Check the six of your of your uh, of your wingman, and um, this strategy I call horizon scanning and um, this is the most successful one. Sometimes you're going to be forced to use another uh, way of scanning for enemies 
And this is also a very important tip in addition. Open your side window or if you're flying uh, in the British planes, open your canopy and listen for enemies. So spotting contacts, often you are not going to be able to see him at first, especially when he's below you, but you're going to hear him. And especially the uh, low sound of the Merlin motor is very, very uh, easy to hear. And in many cases I hear that somewhere below me has to be an enemy. I hear this uh, slight sound of this low drowning of a Merlin motor uh, engine and I know exactly that somewhere below me is an enemy. And uh, this is uh, a very important aspect for you guys. Uh, use your ears also to spot contacts. And when I hear someone below me, I'm using uh, the second strategy I'm going to show you. And there I go into a circling movement like this, a circle above the area where I uh, was hearing something. And once again I keep my head calm and I'm looking out of the side window above the wing. And I'm not moving my head too much, maybe a little bit. But like, uh, like I said before, when you have uh, the focus on one area, keep your head calm for a few seconds. Don't be constantly moving like this. It's the wrong way. Keep your head calm and circle. This is the technique, uh, the strategy that I'm using when I'm circling above some, some area where I'm expecting enemies to be. Another important tip is the higher you are, the more difficult it's going to become to spot enemies. So. As a beginner, it might be a good uh, idea to not go over 4,000 meters. Of course, you do not want to do the mistake of going in too low, because it's not going to help you if you are able to spot the contacts more easily, but uh, you are not able to attack them, but on the other hand, you are even vulnerable to their attacks. So, make a compromise. Don't go over uh, 4,000 meters, but don't go below 3,000 meters. Stay between 3,000 to 4,000 meters and um, in this way you are going to have fewer difficulties in spotting contacts. Of course, the reason for this is that uh, the lighter and brighter the background that the uh, contact is in front of, the more easy it is for you to uh, see him. For example, if someone is in front of a cloud or in front of the clear sky, it's quite easy to see them but especially with the Spitfire and their very very good camouflage it's extremely difficult especially for beginners to spot them above land. So if you are uh, at fi 5000 meters above uh, England it's going to become f nearly impossible for a beginner to spot a contact. So keep that in mind. Don't go too high as a beginner and um, maybe it's better for you not to go over England and stay over the, over the channel instead. Another very uh, useful tip is uh, knowing roughly where the enemy should be. There uh, are a uh, few hotspots where you are going to have more luck with spotting contacts. On many online servers you're going to play in this area and um, a very uh, frequently used airfield is going to be the one at Hawkinge. And this hotspot is here between Hawkinge and Dover is an area where you are going to find many enemies and another frequently used hotspot is Ramsgate and uh, better pilots often start from here and they fly in direction of France over the channel here and the hotspot you are going to find many contacts in this direction is here so having these two hotspots and knowing roughly that there your chances of spotting a contact are higher is a very useful thing. If you're flying uh, for the English uh, fighter planes, the hotspot is going to be from Calais in the direction of Dover, so here in this spot roughly, and over the French point in the direction of Dover. These two hotspots if you're looking for German planes. And um, this of course is going to help you if you are roughly knowing where uh, approximately the enemy should be, but of course don't be too sure that the enemy has to be there, that can be in any direction. But uh, having some hotspots, having some uh, 
uh, some areas where you're looking first is going to help you also a little bit. So um, another very useful thing, and this is extremely useful in real life in, in this game since the newest Team Fusion patch it's also implemented, but uh, sunlight reflections are something that in real life uh, is a very very good uh, indicator of enemies and enemy planes. So in this game, I'm not quite sure where my... Ah, you don't see any sunlight reflections right here. But um, keep an eye out for flickering and those little um, reflections on the windows of, uh, of the contacts is going to help you in addition. And um, like always, stay relaxed. The more relaxed you are looking for contacts, the, m the higher are your chances of spotting someone. And now uh, we are nearly at the end of this tutorial and um, what I want to uh, also tell you is that uh, if you have uh, some questions or if you uh, want me to do a specific tutorial about some topic, tell me in the comment section below and um, also if you see someone else having a good request, give it a thumbs up in the comment section and this way I know which kind of tutorial is needed because I think I have covered most of the uh, topics um, that I really can make a tutorial about. Of course there are many th many other things uh, but uh, most things really come down to practice and I cannot give you any other tip than just practicing and uh, investing more hours of flight training. For example um, I cannot really do a tutorial about shooting. I can give you some smaller tips about deflection shooting, but it really comes down to just simply practicing a lot. So I cannot really make a tutorial about shooting. It's just, uh, it depends on you to practice. And I cannot give you anything, any tips about it uh, to become better at shooting. So of course there are some tutorials or some requests uh, that I cannot really cover, but um, Nevertheless, if you have some questions about a specific topic, uh, tell me in the comment section, so I know... Uh, and there, there you see some sunlight reflections on this window. So I know uh, uh, which topic I should cover in the next tutorial. Also, I'm going to do uh, some Armed Assault 3 Wasteland gameplays in the future. And uh, I now have a little bit more time again to make some videos and I'm um, going to do something for my channel and for all my viewers. I'm very thankful for you. Uh, I've nearly reached 500 uh, subscribers now and uh, this is something I did not expect so uh, so fast. Um, yeah, Thank you very much. Uh, this channel is uh, really becoming a real channel so thank you for that and um, well see you in the next video, maybe in an armed assault video. Let me know what you think about that, if I should do it. And I'm trying to make another uh, subscriber special video uh, for the 500 uh, milestone. So um, you can be happy to see another nice movie soon, I hope. So this was the self-elected ape of the year once again and um, see you in the skies.